By now, Montezuma, still subject to periodic icing and frost, is reawakening to a new season. Diving and dabbling ducks arrive before the winter ice has completely melted. Here, ring-necked ducks, northern shovelers, and blue-winged teals gather amid bloated carcasses of dead fish that did not survive the winter. These will soon disappear, consumed by muskrats, turkey vultures, and other scavengers of the marsh. What remains will quickly decompose, adding to the nutrient-rich substrate, where root systems are already well into a new season's growth. Shovelers, ring-necked ducks, and some other species of waterfowl arrive suddenly in early spring and are gone from this region by the time the summer breeding season is underway, moving north into forested swamps and marshes throughout northern Canada. This green-winged teal is feeding on tiny invertebrates sifted from mud on the shallow bottom of this pool. The green-winged teal's bill includes very fine teeth that filter morsels gleaned from the substrate. The air is still frosty at sunrise, but this marsh is rising to a new season. Hardy emergent plants are beginning to appear. Soon the dull browns and grays of winter in the northern wetland will be gone, replaced by a full spectrum of greens and yellows followed later on by a rainbow of spectacular color as countless blooming wetland plants begin to climax in their own breeding cycles. Spring is a busy time at Montezuma. Thousands of migrants pass through on their way to vast forests, lakes, and tundra pools beyond the Arctic Circle. Some remain at Montezuma throughout the warmer months. In recent years, this marsh has become home to breeding pairs of bald eagles. This young bald eagle settles on a high perch at the edge of Montezuma's main pool to consume its prey before launching back out over the marsh on a rainy April day. Water birds often scatter when these large birds of prey fly near. Eagles are known to feed on ducks and other wetland birds, as well as fish amphibians, and reptiles. At the edge of the pool, an American coot picks away at the remnants of last year's wetland plants, now mostly submerged. Swallows have returned to Montezuma. Rain or shine, these small passerines glide back and forth above the surface, picking off insects on the fly. Blue-winged teals. This pair may soon establish a nest in the reeds just beyond the channel. Great blue herons are opportunistic feeders with a varied diet of fish, reptiles, even small rodents. Here, one holds a seven-inch bullhead Smaller herons would pass it up, but not the great blue.
carp drawn from the nearby Seneca River in a frenzy to enter the marsh to spawn. The water level of Montezuma's main pool is artificially controlled to maximize conditions for attracting and sustaining migrating ducks and other waterfowl. Its overflow drains into the Seneca River at this location. These carp will not cross into the marsh above this spillway, but most will spawn successfully in countless reedy shallows along the river and its upstream tributaries. <laughs> 